iPhone 5s customers have begun to complain about Touch ID. Google Nexus 5 camera fixes with Android 4.4.1 should arrive to your device today, and Google keeps trying to make you love Google Plus even though you don't want to. I'm Jaime Rivera, and please raise your hand who wants to make Thursdays part of the weekend. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as Google keeps trying to make you love Google Plus, and I am serious, they're trying very hard. This time they have this new service that you can use for your mobile device where you can actually upload a photo that you just took and actually animate it as a GIF or a GIF or whatever you want to call that expression or word or whatever it is. Um, still, the problem is that obviously this is just really a new imaging feature where you're getting snow on your photo or glare on your photo because of the holidays, so will that actually make you use Google Plus? Because it won't make me use it. And speaking of Google, we all know the legal debacle that they have with Oracle, or they had for years, because obviously to build Android applications, you need to use Java, which is built by Oracle. And as it turns out, it seems that even though Oracle decided to drop those charges a couple of years ago, apparently they want to pull them back again, or so reports say. Obviously, we don't know how that will affect Android, but it's just surprising that Google hasn't really wanted to move away from that. Now let's talk about Apple as customers have begun to complain about Touch ID. According to a lot of complaints, customers are having trouble getting their fingerprint read after a couple of months of usage. And in my particular case, even though I haven't really had problems with Touch ID yet constantly, I do have the problem that after a couple of unlocks, the phone will actually obligate you to add your password, even though you enable Touch ID. So it's kind of weird we're expecting for a software update to fix this, but uh, I don't know what to expect from Apple now. Now let's talk about AT&T as the company has made some substantial changes to their contract policies that are actually good for you. First of all, links in the description for the full list of benefits that you get, but probably one of the most important is that if your phone ends its contract subsidy, or if you bring your unlocked phone into a plan with AT&T, they'll give you $15 back for that, and that's pretty much a $300 saving after a couple of months. So make sure you, again, follow the procedure in the description because they're not going to call you, they're not going to do it for you. You have to actually call them to get it done, which is so AT&T. And finally, for the hot news of the day, those of you that have been waiting for Android 4.4.1 on your Nexus 5, well, apparently the update will reach your phone today. And the enhancements are kind of significant, first of all, because we've seen some comparison photos with better color saturation on the Nexus 5's photos after this update. Aside from the fact that you now get a persistent menu for HDR, and the fact that obviously it'll be a faster loading application and it'll take photos faster, but that leads you to the question of the day. Has the terrible camera performance of the Nexus 5 kept you from buying the phone? Because in my particular case, it has. Aside from the fact that I haven't been able to actually buy it because I haven't been able to find it. But leave us a comment down below. Has it kept you away from the phone? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.